G'day guys, Jeremy from Humble Keys here. Today we have the HHKB Pro 2 Type S and I'm going to be doing some modding to it. Here we have the Hasu TMK alternative controller um, with Bluetooth. It can be used plugged in or by itself. The other mods I'm going to be doing are replacing the stock domes with these BKE Redux lights. Over here I've got a piece of craft foam which I've cut out for the back of the keyboard because the stock rubber feet are completely shit. So here I've got a little cutout for the label and the pop-out feet. And for the inside of the keyboard I've cut out some foam dampening so the PCB doesn't rattle with the empty space inside of the case. To open up the HHKB there's just three screws on the bottom of the keyboard. And it pops open like so. Just be careful not to pull it out straight away because the ribbon cable is pretty short. Here we have the original PCB which we'll be putting away. It's held in place by this one screw on the top right. We can lift it up by angling it forward from the top side because there's a little clip on the bottom holding it in place. And there we go. And we'll do the exact opposite, putting the PCB underneath the clip, then screwing the top right back into place. So here are some of the domes I was talking about earlier. To get to these, we're going to have to remove the PCB from the top of the case. This may take a while, so we'll cut forward. Here we have the top of the case and look at all the rubber domes stuck to the PCB except for a couple of them here. Oop, there goes a the spring. So that's what the stock dome looks like and that is the 
BKE Redux Lite. Now we're going to be seating the domes underneath the sliders. And after seating the rubber, we will go on to putting all the springs into place. Over here I'm just doing it quickly, that way we're going to have to be inspecting them later on before we put the PCB anyway. Using the screwdriver with the magnetic tip was pretty useful. And here we are, pressing these springs in so that they are seated. Now we can finally put the PCB back on. And before screwing all the screws back on, we'll screw on a couple and test the keyboard to make sure it works. As we talked about earlier, I had a cutout for the internals. And to put it back into place, we put the bottom three clips on first. Then we put in the last three screws. And here I've got pre-prepared double-sided tape stuck to the back of the foam. And we'll be removing the white wax tabs with a knife. We'll line it up and stick it down. I've got some holes to line it up and the label is still visible. I've ordered some stickers to cover up the label and gold stickers for the HHKB Pro 2 on the bottom right and the Type S sign on the top right. I've now got some vinyl stickers from our local vinyl sticker shop here in Victoria to print some JDM Fujiwara Tofu Shop vinyl. I also made a wrist rest for my HHKB. I went to my local Bunnings and bought some pine and I used wood glue to clamp all the pieces together that fit around my keyboard. I sanded everything down to the right size and shape, then I gave it a clear coat. Here's a couple of photos showing the process I went through to make this. I didn't have video footage of it at that time. I then inlaid it with foam 
inside so it doesn't damage the keyboard and also underneath it so it doesn't scratch your table. 